Design options are often used to evaluate interior wall and furniture layouts. Our objective here is to propose a couple of options for a reception office area represented here by these two offices. We already modeled the office furniture layout for the first option, an option with two independent offices separated by a wall. With that completed, let's initiate the option set, naming it Reception Offices. Let's add a new option. Now we'd like to select all the model elements that participate in the options and add them to the set. We'll elect to put them in both options 1 and 2. This puts in play, so to speak, these elements. We see that those elements now appear equally in options 1 and options 2. Option 1 is already defined, so now let's focus on modifying that on modifying the second al the second option. Be sure to start in option 2 edit mode. Let's go ahead and delete, rotate, move, and add elements to convert this into a shared two-person reception office. In order to present these options on Sheets or even in the Revit interface to our client or to the owner, to other designers, we would need dedicated views that are filtered to show each option separately. Let's duplicate the Level 1 floor plans, naming them accordingly, one for Option 1 and one for Option 2. Let's return to the Level 1 view in the main model. Open the Level 1 Option 1. Since the Option 1 is the primary, it, dis it displays by default. It's Level 1 Option 2, which we need to fix by entering Visibility Graphics Overrides. In the Design Options tab, we can set the Reception Office's option to Option 2. At this point, we have a plan view dedicated to each interior layout option. When we decide which option we will accept into the main model, we first need to assign it as the primary option. Let's imagine, for example, that we are opting to take the second option. Select that and choose Make Primary. Some error messages pop up 
but I see that none are too concerning, and we say OK to click out of these windows. At this point, we're ready to accept the primary. Only do this when you are ready to discard the other remaining options, since it will delete those irreversibly from the project. It's always good to accept options once we know. It's always preferable to accept options once we know, since otherwise the model becomes bogged down. And now from the Design Options pull-down menu, we can see that the option set for reception offices no longer exists, since we have effectively pushed Option 2 into the main model.